of those people that has it all. She's got a great husband, a great career, perfect children, and still modeling after all these years. She's still got a she got ten more years left, would you say? Oh, tomorrow? Oh, yeah. oh, more. Yeah. At least. Yeah. I'm I, could, still I could just smack her. <laughs> <laughs> and who else but Cindy could turn a mole into a beauty mark? Please welcome back to the view the lovely, the talented Cindy Crawford. <laughs> have as a model, truthfully. Oh, with all Using the, Lauren with Hutton. With all the new treatments there? <laughs> I could go on and on. What would you do? Would you get like a yeah. facelift? Would you get lipo? What would you do? I don't know. I mean, I really think it's, I'm, I'm not against any of that. I think it's hard to know. I mean, you see a lot of bad work Jobs. in LA. So yeah. Um, yeah. that doesn't really encourage me. I mean, you know, my mom looks so great. How my old mom's your mom? 54 uh -huh. and she never took care of her skin. I mean, literally like I don't even think she used moisturizer, and she looks great. So mm -hmm. hopefully, it's I'll get her. Yeah, I, I really yeah. think. I mean, you. you some, some yeah, if we all had your jeans, we wouldn't worry about <laughs> Botox and light bulb. I'm not saying I don't. I, I know about all of it. You know, I'm keeping it in my file effects. Well, we know she's going to look great when she's in her 50s. But the question is, can she still model? That was yeah. really my point. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because really Warren Hutton is in her late 50s now, and she's still modeling. Right. I mean, hmm. obviously the jobs change, and but but they should. I mean, mm -hmm. you change as a person, and what you want to say changes. So. Yeah. Now, you, we understand that you just returned from Russia, and it's reported in lots of newspapers that you told the reporters you want to go into space. I what know. is Nothing that? Nothing is a joke anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess um, Lance Bass from, from NSYNC. NSYNC had said he wanted to be a space tourist and spend $20 million and train for six months and go to space. And one of the cosmonauts joked and said, we'd rather have Cindy Crawford with a very thick Russian accent, of course. And then, so when I was in Moscow, the press conference, of course, they thought it was funny. Ah, oh, ha, ha, will you go to space? And I jokingly said, sure, if I can do it in a week, because I have two kids. You know, what am I going to do with them? And then it became news. I hadn't even left Moscow when I and saw it. And now they're preparing a rocket for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm designing a special suit, believe me. Like Tom Ford or, you know, I have yeah. to get designed. Would you do it, though? It. Would you do it if you could? I don't I would think about it. I don't know. I mean, I think now that I'm a parent, I, I definitely am not a yeah. risk taker. I, I don't, I'm, I'm more afraid. I worry every time I get on a plane now, I, I, I worry. And that's yeah. a long way to go. It is kind of a long flight. Yeah, jet, jet lag and. Jet lag and, oh. you know, all the, <laughs> it could be what tough. What about jet lag in space? That's a whole thing. That's a it's year. It's a gotta, whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And everything falls. Cindy, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. No gravity. Then I would yeah, have no yeah, career yeah, when yeah, I got yeah. back. But no, would, wouldn't it stay up? There's no gravity. Yeah, until you got back. Oh, right. And then it all comes down. Then you would look like me. And you're still modeling. That's right. Yeah. You know, I, when, when uh, Joy was introducing you about how perfect you are, and she said you have these two perfect children. However, you've got, what, a three-year-old and a ten-month-old? Yes, exactly. I'll bet they're not. I bet the ten, the three-year-old isn't the so three -year -old perfect. The three-year-old is not so in love with the ten-month-old. Oh, ten oh, there's How Presley. does the three-year-old feel about the ten-month-old? He, he, he ignores her. He ignores <laughs> her, yeah. He, he, he just really, I mean, once in a while I see him going over to her, and it's like this... <laughs> and you're not sure if he's going to give her a hug or smack her. So, you know, you just have to watch it. But I understand he's jealous, you know. It's that story. Well, how oh, how cute. Oh, Look at this little Kaya. Hair. What's there, her there. name, Kaya? Kaya. Look at that sweet face. I know. There's and such, Presley you know, is the boy. Is yes, the boy. Yeah. Adorable. The boy is the, is the one with the long blonde hair. Yeah. That ever, the, the, you better think about that. Yeah, really. <laughs> I, well, I know. I actually took him yesterday to get a haircut. But I think, I don't know if I told this last time I was here, that everyone says, uh, oh, she's so, she has such beautiful hair. And my husband says, yes, and she has a... <laughs> Which I don't think I can say on this show. I don't know. A penis? Oh, yeah. Penis? Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Penis. I guess. Yeah, I guess. So penis. my husband always, his retort is, yes, and she has a penis. And then I people. have to tell you that whenever I'm on, Joy takes such delight in saying that because it just drives me. <laughs> first, I was first. put on this earth first. to no, aggravate Barbara and One of these days, they you still say it too, Barbara. They just do it to annoy me. <laughs> I think Barbara has said it in her day. <laughs> well, not on TV. Yeah. Not on At TV. Not not on TV. She's never said That's it. Right. Okay. What did you do during the Lorena Bobbitt stuff? Listen, I had to, I did the interview with Monica Lewinsky, so I mean that was impressive. Right. But that was just a bad. Anyway. <laughs> Listen, but I want to ask you about something that, thank heaven, that makes some sense and it's a little serious. You're here also to talk about strength for caring, yes. which is something that's so important, and it is to help people who are the caregivers for family or friends who have cancer. And yes. in your own family, you had a. Ten-year-old brother? Yes. Uh, well, no, I was ten you when were my 10. brother 
died. He was okay. almost four. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he was two when he got diagnosed. So he was sick for almost two years, and my mother was his primary caregiver. Mm -hmm. And when I heard about this program, that's what got me interested in Strength for Caring is because my mother would have benefited so greatly from a program that gave her not only education, you know, how to care for, for the patient at home, uh, which now they are home even more. Before you were in the hospital, like your whole chemotherapy. Now people aren't. But also the support group of other people who are going through the same thing. And, uh, you know, my mother had three other kids and <coughs> no help. And I don't, I don't know and how she did it. And at that point, too. So yeah, I absolutely. Not to know what to do. I think that my sisters and I felt very um, much like we couldn't be bad because we didn't want to add any extra pressure to my parents. Is yeah. this nationwide, this program? So it that is. people can, can, they can log on to our website and find yes, out and about we, it? Yes, and there's a website, a website, Strength for Caring, and it's, it's national, but it's community-based, so it's at local health healthcare facilities. So it does help families and friends dealing with those who have cancer and probably other illnesses as well. Yeah. It yeah. reminds me of Gilda's Club, which does something like that, too, for uh, cancer victims. It's, yeah. it's very, very good stuff. This is unique in a way, though, because a lot of the um, programs are for the patient and the, and the caregiver come together. But the caregivers sometimes have negative emotions, and this is a place where they can yeah. get it out and know it's okay, but then they still go back and take care of the person. So yeah. I love that aspect of it. Wow. Well, we love having you on the well, show. You're so cute. You. You're adorable. You. And she's sweet and pretty and nice. Yeah. I could just kill her. <laughs> 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 Thanks to Cindy Never Crawford. Never said much for her when she has a tennis <laughs> knife. <laughs> I'm like, Lorena Bobbitt and Martha Stewart rolls into one. <laughs> if you would like more information about Strength for Care, and you can log on to our website. We'll be right back.